Hello everyone and welcome to this week's update video. I hope you all enjoyed the signposts we released last week. We've got some bug fixes today, one of them being an issue with the signposts. There was a specific placement issue with the signposts if they were attached to a wall that contained either a door or a window, it would be very hard to aim at the signpost to set it up correctly. We fixed the issue that was causing the detection of the signpost to actually prioritize the wall over the signpost, so now you should be able to set your signposts correctly. We also fixed an issue with the render. This issue mostly manifested itself for some people where the game would not load correctly. In some of these cases it actually did not initialize at all. So we discovered what was going on, we updated our libraries to use the most recent versions of DirectX 11 and all those uh, issues should be gone now. If you are experiencing any more uh, strange rendering issues, let us know in the forum or in the YouTube comments as usual. We also did some other bug fixes. For starters, we fixed an issue, especially on the dedicated servers, but you would also notice this on regular servers, that the fuel will not always update correctly in the furnaces or the campfires. It has now been resynchronized and it should now always be correct. We also added a little tooltip showing you just how much time you have left on your fuel. We also fixed a bug where house founders of any house could actually promote members in other houses all the way up to founder. It was an incredibly silly check and it was of course very important that we fixed it. We fixed the synchronization on the character pickup animation and we fixed various other little things. You can find them in the description below. I would like to briefly talk about the feedback we received from our uh, pack of PvP mods. Uh, the weapon protection uh, mod that prevented people from damaging stone walls with a wooden club uh, mostly received positive feedback, so I think this is something we will definitely keep in mind. The claim locks require sky mod received a mixed set of uh, feedback where some people really loved the idea. Most of these people played on servers where they had gentlemen's agreement on whether or not you would be allowed to attack castles. Whereas people who are playing on the more free-for-all open-world PvP servers that are there, they mostly didn't like the idea of not being able to entomb their claim blocks in their castles. So I've made a change to this mod. It now ignores uh, grid collisions, so you are able to build it inside your castle again. We are still not allowing you to build it underground. Uh, the requirement still here stands that people cannot dig the soil, so we don't want you to entomb your claim block in a pile of sand. We want people to have a reasonable chance of getting to your claim block to destroy it if they truly build nice siege equipment. And finally, the grid protection system, that one had a lot of interesting feedback and I really enjoyed reading through it. Uh, some of this feedback were things that we had already come up with ourselves. We got lots of great ideas, so I'm really excited about the community involvement here. Uh, some of the feedback we received was like, uh, we agree that grid protection is necessary, but why not uh, protect the grids when someone is offline altogether? The problem here is that this is kind of a complicated check. If someone logs off, is their grid suddenly protected or not? So like, ah, someone is going to attack my castle. I will log off and never log on again until I know that they have gone to bed. Or let's say we put some timer. Now we have to race against the clock to destroy someone's castle. Or we have to maintain this timer every time the thing takes damage. Also, what about someone from your house is in your castle defending it? Though they affect this timer, it became very complicated. So we really did not want to make it around offline protection, but we would rather focus it on some kind of window. So one of our ideas is that we make the time window uh, area bound. So each claimed area can set different time periods so that if you have area here and area there, you could give two different times that are in your ideal time zone rather than in someone else's. Of course, this is not a perfect solution, so we will continue searching for more ideas. So please keep them coming. Finally, I would like to do two community spotlights. First, 
I would like to show you guys this Abbey by Maxwell. I think it's a really great uh, building. It uses lots of different mods and I think it looks fantastic. It even uses one of our example mods that we are considering making part of the vanilla at the moment. And I would like to highlight this second mod. It's made by two uh, of our team. In their spare time they have uh, spent a lot of time creating this mod and I think it showcases one of the systems in Medieval Engineers that haven't actually been shown much to the world yet. Partially because we are only using it for the hand weapons right now. But as you can see this mod provides you with hats. So barbarians are running around wearing silly hats and you can kill these barbarians, take their hats and equip them like you equip any tool. Just right click the hat and off you go. I think it's a perfect example of what can be modded in Medieval Engineers now. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys will start doing with these. Well, that was it for this week. I will see you all next week. Bye!